let us know how much you'd be willing to pay. On average right now, folks are willing to pay upwards of $300 to get a ticket to see that show. All right, let's check in with Evan Kozlov right now. He is live at the Kennedy Center to break down the best way to get your hands on these hot tickets. Evan, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. And in just a second, we're going to tell you about all the numbers and everything you need to know. But first, just look at all this. Look at all the people we have here. Is it really five in the morning right now? Yeah, I think it's like five in the morning. Some of these people are sleep deprived, but they're here. We're going to jot up to the front of the line here where we've got the people that were here first in line. Uh, Greg, a veteran, yeah. you got here at 1130 at night. Why in the world did you do that? Well, to be uh, sure to get a ticket. Now, I've been here in the past to get tickets for interesting shows, good shows, great shows. And uh, I know you got to get here early in order to get those. If we don't, it was time, I think I came here for, uh, I can't think of it right now. This thing wrapped around the block, around this building twice. So the, and, the hype uh, is real. I'm going to keep talking to Greg. Okay. First, though, here are the three numbers you need to know. So our first number of the day is 60. That's how many dollars you need to spend to become a Kennedy Center member. That will get you access to this morning's tickets. And get this, you could sign up right until they go on sale at 10 a.m. You get these tickets by waiting in line, calling the venue, or by going online. We're told it's one pot, first come, first serve. So your best bet is to order online while waiting in line and be ready to be flexible. Second number, well, it's actually two numbers, 99 to 199. That's the cost of these tickets, with select premium ones going for a whopping $625. That's a lot of money. And our third number of the day, and this is ridiculous, $731. That's what Hamilton tickets are already going for on StubHub. But beware of these seats. Many are what's called speculative tickets, meaning the broker is selling them before they even have them. By the way, with that number in mind, you might just be better off going out of town. This Friday night, you could get tickets in Chicago for $109. Or you could go to New York City and buy tickets for $299. Maybe it's time for a vacation. All right, road trip. Yeah, let's go to Chicago, get that $109 ticket. Look, there are tickets that are also going to be available for the general public in late March. I'm told they can never really predict it, but they think it should be priced in that same range as these are for members. I asked how many. All they could tell me is, quote, a significant allotment, whatever that means. So maybe it's worth spending the 60 bucks being like these guys. If you're not going to wait in line, at least trying online. And guys, I've been reading Hamilton. I just finished it. I've been reading for like a year. So uh, I think I might have to go see this play. All right, guys, I'll send it back to you. Hey, hey, Evan, before we let you go, I'm curious. If you can go back over to Greg for us right now, I, I want to ask Greg, how much is he willing to, to pay today to shell out for tickets oh. to the show? Uh, Larry wants to know how much you would be willing to spend to get tickets to Hamilton. Uh, Putting you in the spot here. Yeah, what uh, I'm willing to spend the, the price of the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not doing the resale. No, you're going to spend no. the 99 and 199. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm not a rich man. But, you know, and I can't go too much higher than that. And, and that is an important point there, Larry, is that resale can be ridiculously expensive, mm -hmm. as you saw. But if you buy it here and get it for the original price, it is set in that range. Uh, some will go as high as 625, those premium seats. But if you get the normal seats, it should be between 99 and 199, which is still expensive but manageable. Yeah, a lot more manageable yeah. than $700 yeah. a ticket. Well, I think you just nailed it, too, because a lot of those folks, they're getting those tickets, but then they're going to resell it for a lot more, which, as you can see here, some folks are willing to pay a lot more than that right yeah. now. Yeah, clearly, uh, as we've been voting throughout the morning here on our megaphone here, it uh, looks like the average person is willing to spend over to $300 in order to get their hands on these tickets. Man, this is a hot show. Yeah, well, you can keep voting on our WUSA 9 app or on WUSA9.com slash vote. Mary, on over to you. What are you guys willing to spend? Well, you know, Larry's cheap as I'll get out, so if he doesn't get it for free, he ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm going to need to be somebody's I'm not hating, I'm somebody's just saying. Friend. It is true. I mean, if I, I could, know. like, watch from, like, outside, Larry. I'd be outside, like, oh, my gosh, look at Hamilton. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to bet there's some matinees, though. There's got to be or a rehearsal you could see. I think the matinee price would be $99. Yeah. <laughs> Better than 300 Yeah. The I seats are almost probably, a week of daycare. They're probably not yeah. the best seats in the house, but, look, yeah. at least you're in the theater. Exactly.